Hi, I'm Alan at D&H Photo. If you're a hunter, a hiker, or simply enjoy going eyeball to eyeball with distant subjects, you can appreciate the value of a good pair of binoculars. B&H stocks over a thousand types of binoculars, but because life is so short, we'll only discuss four popular models designed for birding, hunting, and other mid-range glassing. Celestron's Granite 8x42s, Nikon's 8x42 Monarch 5s, the Vortex Razor HD 8x42, and Swarovski's EL 8.5x42 Swaro Visions. All four featured nitrogen or argon-filled lens housings, fog and waterproof construction, and in the case of Nikon and Celestron binoculars, leaden and arsenic-free optics. Binoculars are identified by two numbers separated by the letter X. The first number represents magnification factor. B&H stocks binoculars with magnifications ranging from 3 power, which take in a wider field of view, to 34 power for viewing subjects from greater distances. Three of the sample binoculars are 8 power, the exception being the 8.5 power Swarovski Suara Visions. To keep the image steady, binoculars over 10 power should be tripod mounted or otherwise supported with specially designed binocular harnesses. The second number in the model name represents the diameter of the front or objective lens measured in millimeters. The size of the objective lens is one of the factors that determines how bright the image appears to your eye. The larger the number, the brighter the image, but be advised the larger the objective lens, the heavier the binocular. Other attributes that determine image brightness include the quality of the glass and the lens coatings, the number of air to glass surfaces, and the size of the exit pupil. Exit pupils of 2.5 to 3 millimeter are sufficient for daytime use, while 5 to 7 is better for lower lighting conditions and astronomy. More than 7 is overkill, your eyes simply cannot see the difference. Each of our sample binoculars is more than adequate for average and even lower than average light levels. The Celestron, for example, features a 5.3 millimeter exit pupil distance. Minimum focus is a factor that can also be a deal breaker when choosing between two otherwise comparable binoculars. Among our sample binoculars, Nikon's Monarch 5 has a minimum focus of 8.2 feet, while Swarovski Suara Vision focuses down to 4.9 feet. Nikon's Monarch 5, at 20.8 ounces, is the lightest bino in our group and the heaviest is the Swarovski Suara Vision, which weighs in at 28 ounces. If you plan on hiking longer distances, you should consider binoculars weighing less than 30 ounces. For right side up image viewing, Binoculars contain prism housings. The two prism designs are Poro and Roof prisms. Poro prisms tend to be less expensive to produce and assemble, but they offer the benefit of greater depth of view. By contrast, Roof prisms are much more compact and agile to use compared to Poros, but they are more expensive and time consuming to produce. All four of our sample units have roof style prisms and center focusing for one touch focusing of both oculars. While each of these sample binoculars perform as advertised, you might ask why Nikon and Celestron's models are priced a few hundred dollars, while the Vortex and Swarovski's are over a thousand and two thousand dollars respectively. The answer has to do with materials, construction, the type and quality of glass and prism coatings, which affects image clarity, color rendition, brightness, contrast, and in the case of the Swarovski's, field flattening lenses that virtually eliminate optical distortions. That's our brief look at binoculars. Thanks for watching.